I'm super surprised of your guys' reaction because I'm, I'm in the same boat. I thought you guys were going to hate on it. We don't you, we don't talk about stuff before the show because yeah. we want to save it. But yeah, I actually like these images too. Surprisingly, completely different than the comic book, which is why I like it. It's refreshingly different. It looks like a creepy garbage bag man monster thing. But that's not to say uh, it can't turn into what we know. I believe yes. he will. I believe yeah. you know if he does come from Latveria, maybe he's got some armor there from his castle or whatever. You know, we never know how they're going to work that in. But you know, in the new in the new Fantastic Four version, you know, they all get powers. They all transform. It looks like he's got powers. It looks like he's floating. He looks creepy, yeah. scary, like a hobgoblin-y mixture. It looks like he's missing an arm. Yeah. yeah I think his arm is just up. <laughs> oh, it's maybe. Blurred. Oh, oh, maybe. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's like, I don't know about the other guy. Though. Oh, yeah, it looks yeah. like motion. Yeah. It looks like he's giving him the finger, actually. Yeah. It looks like quick motion blur, and he's giving him yeah. the finger. The other oh. guy looks kind of dumpy. I think they should fix the <laughs> other guy, though. I mean, <laughs> that's a character out d d design I'm just not into, that dude with the weird patchwork green. He kind of looks yeah. like the Rock Circa 1996, Rocky yeah. Maivia. Yeah. He's got a faux hawk going on. He's got a faux hawk, and he looks like he's holding a walkie-talkie. Yeah. I think they should get rid of that guy. Name one right off the top of my head, Fantastic Four. Everything in that trailer is oh not in the gosh, movie. Oh, my gosh, so the much thing that yeah. dropping from a helicopter, people firing at him. <clears throat> yeah. None of that's in the movie. Reed Richards talking to Doctor Doom. What's coming? Change is coming. That's not in the movie. Doom. It's Doom. Yeah. All that stuff's not in the movie. So there's Change like a lot coming. of yeah, a lot, whatever's <laughs> Doom like, running yeah. for president. What's not in the movie? This trailer's not in the movie. <laughs> yeah, what no, you're so watching was, right now is not in the movie. Literally half of the trailer. Yeah. Like them sitting. What's his ETA? Thirty seconds. Hits the thing. It's gone. Boom. Maybe sooner. Ha, ha. Yeah. None of that. None of right. that. None of it was in the, in the movie. movie. You guys, you guys have both seen movies in the AMC Prime. Sure. Nope. You still have you not yet. It? Nope. I have. <laughs> really? Yeah, you're a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You can't. Ellis, you're not a loser. You're a loser. No, you're not a loser. I'll see you guys later. No, don't go. I guess I'm no good for Sinead's anyone. just kidding. Yeah, leave. Damn. Just kidding. All right. All right. Woo, Sinead's bringing them out Man. today. All yeah, right, what's next? Rant. She hasn't had enough fluff today. Give her a break. How much do you guys think that The Twilight Zone has influenced major feature films, and what are your guys' thoughts on The Twilight Zone? Thanks. Well, I remember... I, I think the answer is yes and no. I mean, because I do remember the original film of uh, Child's Play and one of the filmmakers talking about that episode of Twilight Zone. And if you don't know the episode of Twilight Zone that I'm talking about, it is one of the freakiest 25 minutes or whatever it is you could spend in front of your television with the lights turned off. And this is old 50s black and white thing. And it's about this mean alcoholic dad and he's got a little girl who's got a doll and the doll starts to talk. And I'm actually getting freaked the hell out just thinking about the episode. It is, <laughs> it doesn't run around and wield the knife. It's just, you know, my name's Molly and I'm your friend and other things. My name's Molly, you should be nicer. What the hell? Then finally later, near the end of the episode, it's, my name's Molly and I'm going to kill you. And it's like, and I'm just, it sounds so simple, mm -hmm. but it was the simple techniques of Twilight Zone that was, oh my, look at, look at my arms. <laughs> look at my arm. That, I'm just getting freaked out about it. They, that was so effective. I challenge anybody to watch that episode of Twilight Zone at night with the lights off. For $30 a month, and, and I got to tell you, I went to MoviePass's website, very deceiving website. They hide, they do their best to hide the little asterisks as well as they can. They, they, they promote, because there's nowhere on the site can you just say, oh, click here for a full description of what the service is. They hide that. All they do is like, hey, unlimited movies, guys. Here's the catch, though. Catch number one, you can only see one movie every 24 hours. So if you go to see a 7 p.m. movie on Monday, you cannot see a 6.30 p.m. movie the next day. It'll have to be at least 7 o'clock around. That's not that big of a deal because no one's going to the theaters every single day of the week. So that's not, the, but it is only one a day. Catch number two, you cannot see the same movie twice. So if you do go see The Visit and you really enjoyed it and you want to go back with your friends to watch it again, Wah, wah. your pass does not work for that because you've already used your pass to see the visit, so you cannot use it for a second time. Catch number three. They say $29.99 a month. What they don't tell you is that it's also like a cell phone plan. It's a one-year commitment. So you're actually signing up for a one-year subscription and you, only, and you pay $30 a month and there are early termination fees. So if you sign up for it and realize after a month or two, I'm not really using this too much. Too bad. You signed up for the year. I think you can terminate, but I couldn't find anywhere on this place's website how much termination fees would be and all that kind of stuff. Catch number four. 
you cannot use it to reserve a seat for a guest with you. So if like if me and Schnepp want to go do a double header of the perfect guy and the visit. Oh, thanks for inviting me, guys. Um, mm-hmm. Sorry, you were asleep, Ellis. We kept, we kept trying to wake you up. Just wouldn't answer the phone, dude. I'm sorry, were you still here? Um, if we wanted to go see a double header, um, he's just going to have to go and get buy his own ticket separately, which is fine. It would just be kind of cool if the service offered you a way to buy a ticket on the thing for a companion if you wanted somebody to go with you. All these asterisks combined, and, and the fact that it only is good for 2D screenings. You cannot see IMAX. You cannot see 3D. In AMC's case, you cannot see Prime. So here's the thing. I think I would really dig this service. Right, yeah. I mean, if my handsome face and engaging Musk didn't get me into so many (laughs) press screenings, I would definitely be a member of MoviePass. I've actually worked with MoviePass in the past. I'm not currently affiliated with them, but I have used MoviePass. And for what I wanted to do is more like what Schnapp said, which is where I want to see a couple movies a week. I want to see the new movies that are coming out. So I want to go see The Visit, The Perfect Guy, and uh, Black Mass, right? I want to go see those movies Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I can do that. I don't have a problem. Sometimes I actually prefer going to see a movie by myself as opposed to with anybody else. So it's actually a nice excuse. It's you like, don't like your guest periscoping in the theater while you're <laughs> while you're well, watching the movie. Neither here nor there. But there is something to be said about having a car that can't fit a lot of people in it. You know, it just it's nice. <laughs> I'll meet you guys there. That kind of situation. But though, does it does it do anything? If you're on a date with a with a girl or a guy, does it do anything where you're going to see a movie and he takes out a movie pass instead of just paying? Is it the same thing? Like like if you take a girl to a fancy place like the Outback and you take you your pull gift out a Groupon? It, yeah, yeah. It's it's not as cool, right? No. It's, or is it cool? You're like, check this out. I'm telling you right now, it's cooler. It's like, check this out. If you're with me, movies are free. I'm telling all you the right time. now, it is not cool. <laughs> oh, it's well, cool. Hang on. Don't you got you, you got a lot of shopping to do later. Let's just talk about what's reality here. You pull out a card, you're like, slap a card, and be like, you're with me. This it's always free. People be like, huh. Anyway, Hal, you had a chance to watch a trailer last night. Your thoughts on it? Absolutely, and I watched it even uh, more than John because I watched it about fifty times in my dreams. <laughs> and uh, I'm. When he guys says always is John Campia. Well, yippee, everybody! Welcome to the show. <laughs> coming to you. I don't know where that came from. Yippee. yippee! Thank you for joining us today. Coming to you from right here at the Collider Video Studios here in Burbank, California. And Ashley is apparently a thumbnail. I am also here, John Schnepp. Yippee, Anakin and stuff like that things. Hi. Yippee, also here, Mark Ellis. Welcome to Clotter Movie Talk. It's going to be a podcast racing good time today. <laughs> podcast racing good time. If you couldn't tell, we watched, we did our Attack of the Clones mm-hmm. commentary yesterday. Mm-hmm. It is now up and online. We just haven't made it public yet. We'll make it public uh, uh, this afternoon. It'll be public enough for those you've been waiting so desperately to see it. <laughs> we got to take all those F-bombs out of it first. Yeah, after watching our uh, Phantom Menace commentary, the Attack of the Clones commentary is already just sitting on our server, waiting yep. to be revealed to the world. Just brewing slowly. <laughs> waiting for everybody to watch it and all it's good to say. Oh, oh, oh I all see. Right. We weren't mm. going to do it, but then we realized <laughs> the number four is there. Uh, hey. It's feet. It's, it's it feels feet. like it's feet. I tell you. Yeah, they're not going to. Fantastic Four in phase five doesn't feel right. <laughs> Fantastic Four Phase Four. Hmm. But wait, all Phase Four is going to be just six Fantastic Four <laughs> universe means. movies. That's what? it. The world's going crazy. Yeah. Chris Pratt. Oh, Ray nails it for fifty oh. points in the back. That's Ray Aura. That wow. was Chris Pratt before anybody really knew who Chris Pratt was, nice. which is kind of interesting. Sell. Um, I'm, I'm going to say here, and, and here's why. I I was go- earlier today. I, are you okay? I was over the room. Go on. Oh my God. Okay, so, How this. dare you sell okay, it? Okay, so here's the thing. I earlier today I was going to buy it because I watched it for the first time because I I have not been impressed so far. Look, I really like what Disney's been doing with their animated films lately. Big fan, and just because you know you don't like something the way it looks at first, it can turn out to be awesome. That being said. Um, I watched the trailer early this morning, and I was like, that was really cute. By far, favorite part of the trailer is that sloth, after he hears the joke, (laughs) and the slow motion of his smile, priceless, absolutely priceless. But then I watched it with you guys a little bit later, and I found myself just waiting to get to that part because nothing else in the trailer is entertaining at all. Nothing else in the trailer was funny. Nothing else in the trailer was charming. Then it gets to that big smile thing, and then my heart felt happy again. It's really great. But I realized after watching it a second time, it's like, you know what? No, I don't think this is that good of a trailer. I had one great moment. 
and everything else is just kind of wasted time, and I still don't have a lot of hope for this movie. Hope I'm wrong. I'll be there opening day to check it out, but right now, I'm just not on board, so for me, I gotta sell it. Schnapple. The first thing he does every day, he walks in, goes into the fridge, mm -hmm. finds my lunch, and the first <laughs> words out of his mouth every day are, is this your lunch? <laughs> well, now it's mine. That's, That's right. what he does <laughs> every do day. It. Yep. And I, See, and I'm, Ellis, I can't do a, anything about it. He's a real it. monster. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Delicious McRib. <laughs> thing is, if you're having a debate that we need to settle with you and your buddies at a bar, that's one thing. If you're debating with your grandma over which Christmas movie to watch, right. she yeah. might opt for a Christmas yeah. carol. I think yeah. she wins. Yes. Grandma wins. Yes, yes. Christmas story it is. No. And it, do you remember oh, that? Oh, that's right. And all the Swedes were bragging. That's, that's right. right. When it was the Snip, Swedes. I got to see it before you. <laughs> I'm a Swede and I got to see it before that you. A, that's a really horrible that a accent. I, no, I'm not doing a Swede. I'm just doing a, I got to see it before you bragging jerk that those you Swedes oh that love me I'm not talking about you I'm talking about the angry hateful Swedes who get to see Star Wars first you better shut up I think, no they, I think that, is, that is yeah. what what jerks sound like that's you know. exactly yeah, get to see it before you yeah. Yeah, they, they, all they of our that. equipment is from <laughs> Ikea so you can't hate <laughs> that much I know everything yeah. we are on the, the score long <laughs> desk and the obsonk uh, you know <laughs> basket case and the fimblar uh, bookshelf thank you Swedes uh, I mean, they're making a Pez movie you know, <laughs> making an emoji movie, making yeah, an right. Angry Birds movie. Yeah. Why not? Tetris. Yeah. What's happening to this planet? The adventures of <laughs> Father Bear and Mother Bear and Brother and Sister Bear. They never yeah. like, took the time to name themselves, probably because right. the bears are just trying to survive. But but you make it adventures. really dark. Yeah. Like yeah. Brother Bear is hooked on heroin. Yeah. <laughs> He's hooked on bear heroin. Yeah. Oh. Barrowin. <laughs> Man, I can't get enough shots of this barrowin, dude. <laughs> so many childhoods just oh. collapsing. Oh, he's selling dates with, with his sister to pay for his addiction. <laughs> now I really oh want. I want to see this Dark. movie so bad. Totally live action. <laughs> yeah, like, Father Bear's home. Who <laughs> wants it first, kids? That's right. <laughs> and oh, add a couple of really dark gosh. songs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, That's let's great. totally destroy our fond memories of this <laughs> wonderful. Thing. Just call it Barrowin. <laughs> You are, ah, see, ah, see, oh, that's a good one. See, that's that, a good one. See, it works in it your favor. It benefits everyone. I'm not trying to help cancer research. I'm trying to help you get laid. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, that's no. But see, in all seriousness, donate to cancer research, guys. That's what it's all about. Uh, and I want to thank the guys sitting at the table with me, sitting over here on my left, Mr. John Schnepp. Schnepp, where can people find you online? I was just uh, over on the corner, like shooting up some heroin. You missed it. <laughs> <clears throat> you can find you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, just at John Schnepp. You can get my film, The Death of Superman Lives. What happened? by going to www.tdoslwh.com. We have a special Thanksgiving. You could uh, buy the film right now. We lowered it 10 bucks. Get the digital download and support an independent film. And of course, over here, Mr. Mark Ellis. Mark, where can people find you? Well, when I'm not at a dirty Motel 6 with Mother Bear, you can find me on Twitter at 5150 Ellis, also Instagram. I've seen The Revenant today, so I'll tweet out my reaction immediately. I wish I could grow a beard in that time. Uh, <laughs> wine School on the chat board is ha hashtagging beards for Barrowin. Yeah. Um, wow. And of course, our lovely <laughs> host today miss ashley mova ashley where can people find you twitter instagram at ashley mova happy tuesday guys and of course you can find me on all the various social media networks specifically on facebook and on twitter by following me at john campia that'll do it for us guys listen don't forget if you love your entertainment news make sure you bookmark collider.com visit the site every day to be kept up to date on everything going on in the world of movies and television and make sure you come back tomorrow for our final episode of movie talk this week before we break for the holidays we look forward to seeing you and until next time Bye-bye.